Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. My name is Joanna and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Peak Lab. In this video, I'll be analysing a past year examination question from the topic of magnets. I've placed this question in a handout and you may download it for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. So let's get started. Ben and Jill played a game as shown in the diagram below. The aim of the game is to make use of object X to pick up object Y which is attached to a paper arrow. So as you can see the diagram here, it shows us that object Y moved towards object X. Which means in order for object X to pick up Y, both have to be attracted to each other. Now, when you see attraction taking place, for example, if I have two objects over here and I see that they moved towards each other, that means they have attracted. In order for that to happen, one of the object definitely has to be a magnet. And how about the other object? The other object could be a magnet or it could also be a magnetic material. Why? Because magnets also attract magnetic material. So we need to think of which of the following could represent object X and Y. Let's look at the option. If object X is a magnet and object Y is an aluminium block, would this setup work? Remember, as long as one of the object is a magnet and the other is a magnetic material, this game would work. So we already have a magnet, but how about the other object? It is made of aluminium. So we need to find out if aluminium is a magnetic material. And this is when students need to recall the four magnetic materials. What are the four magnetic materials? And how do I teach my students to remember them? I always teach them as S-I-N-C. Steel, iron, nickel, and cobalt. How can we remember S-I-N-C? Singapore is not cool. Or smoking is not cool. Or some students like to remember it as Superman is not cool. Or some prefer ISCN. I smell chicken nuggets. So these are some possible ways to help remember the four magnetic materials. So back to the question. If object Y is an aluminium block, would this setup work? No. Why no? Because aluminium is non-magnetic. Now, let's look at option B. If object X is a steel block and object Y is a magnet, would this setup work? One of the object has to be a magnet, right? So we already have a magnet and the other has to be a magnetic material. So let's check, is steel a magnetic material? Yes, steel is a magnetic material and therefore option B would work. Next, how about option C? If object X is a magnet and object Y is an iron block, would this setup work? We have a magnet, so correct. Next, iron block. Is iron a magnetic material? Yes, iron is also a magnetic material. And therefore, option C would also work. Therefore, the correct options would be B and C, which is number 3. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos we made, click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!